Okay, a bonus weekday edition of Book Finds. We are going to look through all the cool paintings in this entire book. So that's why this um, video is a little bit longer. But first, we'll go. We'll quickly skim through these. But that'd be fun. I'm sure some of you would like to see what's in here. I've actually never come across this book before. I've come across a ton of different Tolkien art collections and books and stuff. And they're all great. They're all worth picking up for sure. Some more expensive than others, of course. I got another. Brad Berry hardcover. Not worth too much, but pretty cool. I got this for, so this was inside the store for two bucks, so this was a good find. Uh, Camus, uh, Complete Stories, uh, Cap, Vince Kafka. That was inside the store. For, this was inside the store too for three dollars. Kind of made an exception to buy this one. It's a big fat book, but it's a, a popular installment in the series because this is when uh, Brandon Sanderson took over for the deceased Robert Jordan and he finished the series for him which was really cool and you know I don't know too much about that because I'm still working my way through the first book but since I'm reading so much other stuff especially the Philip K. Dick I'm slowly working my way through that and this will be book number 13 <laughs> so I won't get to this for a long time so I won't know the difference for a long time but apparently he's a great author and whatever he did uh, really was good for uh, the series, the Wheel of Time series, so it all worked out. This is my favorite book of all time. I always pick this up when I see this, but I actually found this outside, so it was only $1, and same with this one. This is the third book in the Dark Tower series, an older copy of it, not in great condition, so they wouldn't sell this inside, obviously. So only one dollar. Somebody would have picked it up if I hadn't picked it up, most likely. But on the during the bag sale, it takes up more room. So I pick up during the week. I pick up the fatter books or the ones I tend to pick up more. This was inside a nice vintage copy of the Halloween tree. It's a real short children's type book. Uh, Ray Bradbury, really cool though. Another vintage Bradbury, October Country. I think this is a bunch of stories. Good find. It was another Bradbury, Illustrated Man. This was inside, so these were all two dollars, but this one was one dollar because I found this outside, and I've never seen this one before. Actually, no, I've I've seen it. I just don't haven't come across it so much. I think I saw a different edition, like a bigger hard, small like hardcover or whatever. Um, I found this outside. It's not in the best condition because of that, but that's pretty. It's pretty cool because it's only a dollar, and it's um, a vintage copy of iRobot. Isaac Asimov. I've never read that one before, but this actually all ties into the a, a whole bunch of books tie into the Foundation series. Apparently, you know they go way back in the past with, with a lot of the Robot series and other books as well. So they all tied in the same universe. Apparently, I've read some of the Foundation series and I really enjoyed those. These were good. I'd recommend them. Edgar Casey on the Dead Sea Scrolls. I thought somebody else might pick this up just because it's on the Dead Sea Scrolls and Edgar Casey books sell. Uh, yeah, they sell very quickly. <laughs> um, people are really into into his stuff. And he, uh, oh man, he, I come across so many of his books too. It's like his, uh, his relatives were just, uh, yeah, ready to publish anything and everything they could after he died, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm going too far with that. I don't know. But there are just way too many Edgar Casey books. It's kind of weird makes me wonder about him in particular. I heard he was a genuine guy though. I'm, I'm, I'm a little more skepti skeptical of Nostradamus um, because if you look at his, pat his history before he became such a great well-known um, prophet and started doing his writings and his uh, fore foreseeings of the future, then you might agree with me. Okay, so we're just gonna take a look at all the pictures. Maybe we'll try to get the titles in there as well. So it's really nice. This might take a little while. Okay, Goblin. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess I can't take too much time on each one. Yeah, Gollum. I guess you could always pause. Like as long as I'm not move, so I won't try to move it too much. Gandalf. 
Dallas rescued by the Eagles. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let me see. Not the best lighting, sorry. There we go. Flying with the Eagles. Reminds me of an Iron Maiden song. Like an old, older one. You know the name of that. I do. Type in the comics and you'll get a point. And we'll start keeping track of points. I don't know if we'll need to, but just for fun for now. Thorn, Prisoner of the Elves. Interesting. This is a cool one. Smog. Oh, that's a classic picture. It's actually a little, little bit different. Um, I've seen. We used to have this uh, really cool edition, hard, big hardcover edition, which came in a but you slid it out of the box and everything, you know, um, of the Hobbit when we were younger, and they had a picture exactly like this. I'm sure there's a lot that are very similar to this. It's definitely different. This is. But very simple. And that one had a lot of pictures in that edition. And Tolkien is so popular, there's been so much great art. Mine's coming out of there. Black arrow. Oh, this is pretty cool. So I might, I might end up keeping this one. Maybe it will sell it, I'm not sure. You know, a lot of these don't really sell for too much or not like too valuable or anything. I wouldn't be able to sell for a lot more or anything than I bought it for, but maybe someday. Maybe it would be worth keeping, having um, all these great different Tolkien art books, the art in the stone. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. That's a lot of detail on this one. So let's uh, let's get a little closer. Hands on. Elbow sitting on his chair. That is really cool. And that's uh, I guess that's the name. These are the names of the artists. So the different ones. Frodo and Gandalf. Smoking the pipe. What do you got there over there? Cool. Oh, that's really nice. Whoever did that. He's got some major talent. Books, these are all really good. I was never very good at drawing. I used to draw Garfield the cat. You know? <laughs> Just real simple stuff like that. Try to draw the comics like in the Sunday Street segment we were talking about earlier. Tom Bombadil. This is going to take so long, at least the pages are thick, but it just seems like we haven't got very far yet. That's pretty cool. On the road to Rivendell. Nice. The Stone Trolls. Riders at the Ford. A little different than that door song, that's for sure. Saruman. Ooh, cartoonish building in this. Over of the mountain.
entrance to Moria. Oh, that is cool. They're pretty plain, I'll skip through them quicker. Let's stay on the, uh, the ones that have more to look at or something. Like the, we saw a couple of those earlier. Oh, that's pretty cool. Those are the companions, okay, and then there's the... Whoa, that is a really cool interpretation. This one, Ingrid. Oh, I liked her. She had one that I liked earlier. Tear the Mason. Glittering Caves of Elgrith. The Oliphant. <laughs> this one's pretty sweet. Look at that. This is, oh, this is that artist. Okay, I like this person a lot so far. I think they've all been a little different, too. or a similar picture before. Yeah, they, all those huge battles at the end of the, the Hobbit, I think. With a lot of people fighting them. Yeah, that one's got a lot of detail to it. Whoa, in the background, you see the old fonts? <laughs> Let's have a Mordor. Where's Sam? Oh, there he is. 
Where's Waldo? Quite a few to go. He's huge. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is oh, it's from the silver million. They talk about him, I guess. We're probably gonna see some interesting stuff now. Here we gone through like the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings pictures. Now we're getting towards uh, the more obscure stuff that a lot of people aren't aware of. A lot of the stuff I read a long time ago. And it doesn't read the same as, you know, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. It's a lot more history type stuff. Uh, hardcore Tolkien fans enjoy it definitely a lot more. So yeah, if you can see the Silmarillion. It's all found already. That's crazy. Okay. Huge. He looks like he's been eating a lot. Many days. Getting the Smith of Wooten Major. I like that art. I like this art. It's kind of cool. Almost looks like a, something from a Magic the Gathering card or something. Road. Cool. Brandy Wine River. Ooh. Interesting. Is this for the return of the shadow? About the artist. Okay, I think that is it. Here's that one I liked. I was born in Stockholm, Sweden. Okay, I guess if you want, you could pause that and read all that if you want to. And pause, that is apparently. Pause. There's something on the back there. That's pretty cool. Glare off. Oh. It's called Tolkien's World. 